we do have 650 people now in that program, in the New York State program, and 1,000 people in our New York City program. And when, and the New York State program is heading for 1,000, and we're going to go a little bit above 1,000 in the city program. And at that time, 10% of all the math and science teachers in New York City public schools will be members of the Math for America, in New York State Public Schools, will be members of the Math for America Corps. Ten percent, statewide. So MFA indeed succeeded in making the job better, which was my first goal. And how? Well, it certainly didn't do it by beating up bad teachers. That was, that's not a very good uh, approach. But it did do it by recognizing and rewarding great ones. And this is what we have here. And anyone who's ever run an organization knows, yeah, if someone really can't do the job, you have to get rid of them. But much more important is to recognize and reward the great people who are leaders in the organization, and that's what keeps morale up and keeps people happy and working hard. So now what's happening is that MFA is starting to get attention from some other states, and even from the feds, as I call them. <laughs> and so you're all in the vanguard of, of what could be a national movement. And maybe my dream of having a national core of outstanding math and science teachers throughout the country will, come, will finally come to pass. Anyway, thanks to all of you for leading the charge.